can I save? So we're doing the Team Red Aid new Egyptian. This is the third video for it. We have two guys who want to try and kill us. But we're not going to let that happen. Bump is one. And there's two. Pick off the uh, large med pack. Techno with Gibson, gonna have to turn the sound down. And save. Pick up the Techno with Gibson, gun ammo. You can see there is some more over there. There's also, there's also some master gun ammo. Yes, and that is got by the guy. The shotgun is, in this game is being renamed as the master. Next. All four of your first cabins. Every cabin has an enemy inside it. And I think most of the guys got something. So we use the techno gypsum gun on him. Then switch to the pistols to kill the other one. This technique has worked for me every single time. We use the techno gypsum gun on one. Then switch to the pistols for the other. This guy would up some more techno with some gun ammo. This, this, there's nothing in this chamber other than the guy. Not that I can see anyway. Uh, maybe I'll pick this without realising. Here's the techno with some gun ammo and here's another med pack. Now you may notice that I do not use the uh, the keyboard keys to switch to the gun, except I'm going to use the pistols. The only reason why I use the uh, inventory instead of the keyboard keys, hot keys, is because I like to keep track of how much ammo I have and how many meds I use. The pistols doesn't matter because they're unlimited anyway. So yeah, if I just keep using the uh, inventory, I know. If I have enough ammo. Here's some more ammo. We have a large med pack. So we're going to get plenty of large med packs, but you don't want to waste them, like I keep saying. This is just kind of like a uh, bonus level. Well, anyway, it's just like a connection. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Because this could ever just give you loads of ammo and it's just a level to pick up things in, I guess. So here's another med pack. A med e pack called you know, Egyptian Health. Here's some uh, normal master ammo. Because the shotgun is called the master in this game. And I think that's wide shot ammo looking at it. There we go. Let's save the game. We've got a half hour life left, that should be enough to kill this guy. Go on, let's just... He didn't even shoot me. That guy that we just killed dropped the cockpit key. So we need the cockpit key to get into the cockpit. I think you would realise that. So yeah, that guy over, over there, the one who would be in the far corner, is the only one that you pretty much have to kill. All the others, I just... I would recommend killing them all, but... If you're trying to do a minimal kill with one, you have to kill the one that's up to two. But other than that, none of the, none of the others are uh, necessarily required. Or required. But let's just kill them all, just 
because they drop ammo and med packs and stuff. So that guy drops a, uh, taking over some health, there was nothing else in the room. And then pick up the, uh, go get some health. I use the cockpit key here, I'm going to save first, and I have a tactic for this. What I like to do is I like to get the guns up and keep jumping backwards. And then I like to take shelter in one of the uh, cabins where the guys came from, or where the guys were. He can't get you in here, so uh, just keep, oh no. I'm trying to do this level without using the med pack. But I don't think I'm going to do that now. I think it's going to get me. So, yeah. We shot a, a thing which causes... A fire. Well, this is not going the way I hoped because just to hit the slope, if the uh, this one in the cabin, I would have a lot more life left. So I don't know if I'm going to make it you with the ammo I've got. Be careful of the grenade. There's only, I think there's only one enemy left now. One. Yeah. He doesn't drop anything, and I'm going to save because that was close. We ended this with a sliver of life left. But, for this lever, that's going to uh, make some water up here. So we can pull this lever. We would have to shoot something to be able for the lever to work. Uh, we pull a ball for we shot it when we killed the guys. If there's something here, if there's a thing here, just shoot it and uh, then just jump backwards here and slide on down. And that is the end of the level. But it is, but it is not the end of the video. I'm going to just go ahead and do level 4 now as well. So, this level is called Access to the portal. And I think the other one was called the Underground Passage Below Jerusalem. So we're doing them both in uh, this one video. And it's still a short video. It's 17 minutes. It'll be around, it'll be around 17 minutes combined. Don't, don't land on the uh, thing. Look, those things are the lines are to the left and to the right now. If you stand on that, it will set you on fire. So don't stand on that. None of them two guys drop anything. I'm also going to do this level without using the med pack. Purely because I want to save the med pack for later. It's a long game and I don't want to waste them. In levels where I don't have to. So there's a guy here. Shoot him. Come on. When he gets his grenade out, that's good because that means we can get behind him and he won't bother us. See? We won't just win anything either because this is totally the earth. The main 
training area goal is to open them doors over there. Can we have suit? Two things. There's another one over there. We've got to shoot three uh, things that will open up the ladder. So we can climb it. Climb it. If we do it over to the vice, we'll, we will be going in there a bit later on. But for now, just ignore him. Oh, Blama. Messing about as usual, I mean, Miss Cross. I might be able to get it from up here. I don't think there's a fire trap. Nope, yep, you can stand here and climb this ladder. You can also grab this Techno Egyptian Owl while you're here. Then jump up and grab the monkey bars. And just go forward. Unfortunately there is no uh, monkey bar fast button, so you just have to wait. It's not too long though. And I'm not going to fast forward anything in this one because it is just um, a short level. Now you might want to save here, in fact that is what I'm going to do. As soon as you fall into this water there's going to be a hammerhead shark. So I'm just going to get the uh, heck out of here. And I'm just going to ignore it. He won't, he won't come up here, so you can't kill it, I don't think. Now, when he's up here, this is where we saw the guy earlier. You can try and kill him. Come on. Come on, he's dying. He's dying, sir. Come on. There you go, now he's dead. You can take his uh, Techno Egyptian gun. We already have it, that's it. But, you know. And you can't just use both of them at the same time. But it does count as ammo, I think. I'm not too sure about that there. So yeah, we've got the Techno Edition gun again. I guess just put it there in case you didn't get it in the uh, second level. Well, I know where it is. Hide here until he, because he was on the uh, fire traps. You want to wait for him to get off it? Come on, guy. No, don't do that, Lara. I'm going to say, I'm just going to quickly save the game. I'll duck down if he does that. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for him to, wait for him to come, see if, see if he will come over here. I don't think he will though. Come on. No, he won't. I'm just going to climb up here and just go around for him. Remember, if you crawl near their feet, they won't get you. Well, they shouldn't get you anyway. Just crouch by his feet and, uh, You'll avoid all the damage. Just to conserve a bit of life. Which we will use in the um, other videos. Go 
I'm just gonna come over here and say, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next time, the next video. Take it easy.